Well, happy Friday. Happy Friday, Ashley. Happy Friday, Chief. We are here. And for the millions of viewers out there who are used to seeing Chip or Brandon or both, uh, both are out of the office today. So you get Ashley and I. Yep, the A-team. All right, I like the A-team. Mm -hmm. Does that stand for Ashley? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if we're going alphabetically, yes. <laughs> Well, happy Friday, everybody. It is sunny out and the streets and sidewalks are filling up in town. And that can mean only one thing, that more things are happening, including events. So you have Ashley and I here to talk about our biggest event of the year, Car Week. So we want to provide you an update on that. And we'll continue to do that as we approach Car Week. Yes. What do we got coming up? So for Car Week this year, um, we have four events happening in town, um, and I think that the community will be happy. Our events are, um, after doing some small boutique-style events coming out of the pandemic, we're almost all the way back to where we were pre-pandemic. So on Tuesday, we have Concord for a Cause. Um, that will be on Ocean Avenue from mm -hmm. Unipro all the way down to Lincoln Street and then the side streets as well. So not, not quite the same footprint as, as Concord on the, the avenue. They're not there yet, but they'll get there. On Wednesday, we have Aston's on the Avenue in front of Muse Gallery, and that's on Ocean Avenue between Monte Verde and Lincoln Street. And then on Thursday, we have two events on Ocean Avenue, and that is the Prancing Ponies, and that's from um, Unipro to Dolores Street. And then the Ferrari Owners Club are back with us again for the second year, and they will be from Dolores Street down to uh, Monte Verde and then the side streets as well. So we're going to have a really full week for us. Um, looking forward to it and chief I'll turn it back over to yeah. you to talk about safety measures so thir the Thursday event we have two events going out at the same time and that's going to be the larger footprint that'll be the larger footprint so that'll be the full footprint that Concord on the Avenue used to hold from Unipro down to Monte Verde and then the side streets to 6th and 7th on either side so it's going to feel very much like 2019 yeah, I, I agree. It's nice to see the events coming back. I think we're going to see the crowds coming back, including the traffic. And that's where the police come in. We'll be, we rarely have big problems with the events. We never really have. Mm -hmm. It's more just coordinating with the event organizers and getting the vehicles in and the people in and, the, and all that safely. So that's where we come in during the day. It's parking enforcement. It's that traffic control and pedestrian safety. But it's after the events is where we have started to see uh, more activity at night since about 2019, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And I know last year we had some more problems. We, um, we're going to continue to do heavy enforcement of traffic violations. Uh, we're going to do the same thing we did over the last couple years is set up a, a, a maze through downtown. But we're going to set that up a little bit later than we did last year. Last year we set it up about four uh, it'll be closer to 6 p.m., which should help with the businesses right. as we make that transition to enforcement of the after-hours activities. Um, but we're setting up very similar to last year with uh, speed bumps, and we'll have a lot more officers working, a lot more vehicles. We're working with um, the county to do a whole operational plan to know what other events are going on. We're working with CHP and the other agencies on the peninsula to have a regional response team to some of these fuel car run groups uh, that come in and do the burnouts and right. the speeding. So we're, again, it's heavy enforcement. Our goal is to protect our community and our businesses, and that's what we're gonna do by discouraging that after hours activity while keeping our community safe. So I think we're in good hands. We're ready for it, we're preparing. And uh, we'll be we'll be there. Yeah, I'm looking forward to Car Week this week. Like I said, we're getting with the events getting back to to 2018, 2019, and this will be a good year for Carmel. Should be fun. All right, anything else we want to share? Uh, just if you haven't come and participated in one of the library summer reading programs, you still have time. Uh, next week at the Harrison Library, we have Casey Frazier um, playing some music for us in the reading room. And then uh, the week after that, we have one of our last events at the Kids Library where we'll be making our own costume. So stop by and have some fun with us. Excellent. All right, with that, hope everybody has a good Friday and take good take care. Take good care.